Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise Aki Manager 8 with our um, current day Ottawa Senators run. We are trying as much as we can to um, make it a winning season where we are going to end up in the playoffs. The race is ridiculously tight. We are currently currently holding the eighth and last spot in the standings in the east for a playoff spot. Um, we still have a couple injuries for the you know main team that's mostly Formanton and Colin White. Now Colin White in real life came back uh, from injury yesterday and he scored. Sadly he was the only one to score and sadly it was against the Montreal Canadiens so the Suns lost in real life to the Habs. I cried all night. I was unconsolable. I could not sleep. It's It was terrible. But anyway, so uh, today is going to be January. Um, I don't have a trade in the in the works right now. Now I did look, I did try to get something going, but it was too expensive for what I was trying to acquire. It's still kind of a little early to make a trade per se, so I'm going to kind of uh, hold on to my players for now. In February, I'm gonna have a little bit of a better idea of whom I'm bringing back and whom I'm gonna let go, uh, because in February is usually when I look at contract extensions. So we'll see then what I what I feel like doing. So Danton Einan and Evan Rodriguez are on waivers. I am not picking him up, and we are ready to go. All right, so we are starting the month of January on the road with a game here against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Leafs are 21, 9, and 6. That's good for fourth in the East. We are 1-1 one one against Toronto this season. Uh, we won 4-3 on home ice and then lost 4-0 in Toronto. This game is in Toronto, so hopefully we can kind of win this one. Right, Anton Forsberg is going to be in net for us. Jack Campbell is going to be in net for Toronto. And of course, go Sens, go. Hopefully we win this time. And we did overtime win over the Leafs. A 4-3 victory. Awesome. Good start to the new year. We are officially in 2022 now. Uh, we were outshot 43 to 39 in that one, so thank you, Anton Forsberg. Tyler Ennis was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. William Nylander was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Chris Tierney was the third star with an assist. All right, so Tyler Ennis opened up the scoring in the first from Nikita Zaitsev and Chris Tierney. Then Josh Norris scored his fifth of the season from Brady Kachuk and Drake Batterson. It was 2-0 Ottawa at that point. Then Toronto scored. It was 2-1 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, Zach Sanford scored on the power play from Thomas Shabbat and Tyler Ennis, made it 3-1. Then Toronto scored. It was 3-2 Ottawa after two. In the third period, TJ Brody scored his first of the season to tie the game at three. This went to overtime. Nobody scored in overtime, and then it went into the shootout. So in the shootout... Tyler Ennis scored, then uh, William Nylander scored, and then finally Tim Stutzel scored, and that was it. All right, so a shootout victory for the Suns in Toronto to start the month, start the new year on a good footing here. Memorable night for Connor McDavid. He had three goals and an assist against the Islanders. Eugene Melnick is satisfied with my work. Now, with yesterday's win, we went 6-6-1 six, six, in the past month. So that means that in 
December we played slightly under 500. Uh, oh, Shane Wright is now at the top of the of the standings for scouting. Who knows who the Sands are going to end up with. Right, we have a day off and then we're going to be hosting the Minnesota Wild. Oh, Kale Flurry has been put on waivers by the Kraken. David Pasternak has a memorable game. He had three goals and an assist against the Red Wings. All right, and now the Wild is in town. Uh, the Wild is 13, 18, and 4. We are 1-0 against the Wild this season. It was a 3-2 win uh, in Minnesota uh, so far this season. And then we're going to go on a lengthy road trip. All right, so Cam Talbot is going to be in net for Minnesota. Matt Murray in net for the Sens. Go Sens! Oh, we lost in overtime. So 3-2 loss in overtime to the Wild. We do get a point, but obviously on home ice, you'd rather have the W for sure. All right, so we outshot Minnesota 38-30 in that one. Jonas Brodin was the first star of the game. He had three assists, so that means this game ended in overtime and not in the shootout. Uh, Josh Norris was the second star with an assist, and Cam Talbot was the third star with 36 saves. 15,628 people in attendance for the game. Uh, Minnesota opened up the scoring in the first, then Eric Brandstrom tied the game from Drake Batterson and Josh Norris. It was tied at one after one. Nobody scored in the second period, then in the third, Minnesota scored, made it 2-1, and then Artem Zub tied a game from Connor Brown and Brady Kachat. 2-2, heading into overtime, and the, then Marcus Foligno scored in the overtime period, and we lost 3-2, we did get a point. So we still have a winning record here. Oh, a bunch of players on waivers here. So uh, Nico Sturm from the Wild, Garnet Hathaway, Justin Braun, Jamil Smith, and Brett Connolly. William Nylander extends his point streak to 12 games. He had two assists against the Hurricanes. Right, and now we have two days off, and then we're going to be playing one, two, three, four, five games on the road. Which is going to see us go west. Wasn't there a, like a Duran Duran song that was called Go West or something? Oh, there's been a trade. I like me some trades. Anthony Duclair extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against the Flames. Anthony Beauvillier extends his goal streak to five games as well. He scored a goal against the Kraken. A trade between the Wild and the Rangers. Uh, so the Wild gets a fourth round draft pick for Mitchell Chaffee. So not a not a move that's going to be remembered for years. I wouldn't think at least. Alright. We're advancing. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock clock. William Nylander extends his point streak to 13 games with three assists against the Orders. Anthony Beauvillier extends his goal streak to six games with a goal against the Canucks. And we are in Seattle to play the Kraken for the first time in franchise history. Kraken is 11-21-6. 
let's take a look at their lineup. Now, first off, Aiden Fleury is hurt, not gonna play. Yanni Gord is hurt, not gonna play. And Noel Sherry is hurt, not gonna play. Alright, on the lineup, on the actual lineup, uh, Philip Grubauer and Chris Dredger uh, in net. On the DF, Alexiak, Lozon, Giordano, Susi, Larson, Carrick, and Dunn. And up front, they have Johansson, Schwartz, Tanev, McCann, Karshoni, Sheehan, Wenberg, True, Phillips, Enman, Eberly, Blackwell, Donskoy, and Yarn Kroc. Right, we can beat them. I have faith in my team. Anton Forsberg is going to be a net for the Sens. Chris Treasure is going to be a net for Seattle. Go Sens! Come on! Oh, we lost 4-2. That was a game we had a shot at taking here. We just couldn't pull it together. We outshot Seattle 36-31. to Adam Larson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Mason Shaw scored against his former team. And he had a goal, second star. And Alexander Wenberg was the third star with a goal and an assist. So... Seattle scored first in the first period, then Brady Kachuk scored unassisted. It was 1-1 after 1. And there was a fight between Jeremy Lozon and Cal Foot. Then in the second period, nobody scored, but there was another fight. Adam Larson and Cal Foot again, so Cal Foot was busy this game. Then in the third period, we took a 2-1 lead. Mason Shaw scored from Eric Brandstrom and Brady Kitschuk, but then Seattle scored three uninsert goals, and that was it. We lost 4-2. Couldn't hold on to the lead. Young team with its inability to close out the game. William Nylander extends his point streak to 14 games, a goal and two assists against the Habs. There was no stopping Christian Dvorak in Montreal. He had a hat-trick in that same game. Good night for Tyler Sagan. He had four assists against the Panthers. Anthony Duclair extends his goal streak to six games with a goal in that same game. Pierre-Luc Dubois is suspended in Winnipeg. He's going to miss five games. There was no stopping Ryan Johansson in Nashville. He had four goals against the Kings. Strong night for Philip Forsberg. He had four assists in that same game. Oh, dear God. That's a sad news. Cole Lynn's home was robbed. I don't think I've ever seen that news. I'm going to go ahead and read it. <clears throat> Cole Lynn's home has been robbed. The left wing has told media. They took pretty much everything, completely case the place, said the 23-year-old grimly. I'm not sure if it was someone who knew I was a pro hockey player or just a random thing, but it feels terrible either way. There is a grammatical mistake here. It should, there should be an S at feel. Thankfully, Lynn said, he certainly wasn't home during the incident. We can replace possessions, but no one was hurt. That's the main thing. Justin Danforth said morale around the locker room is low, but they are trying to band together to help Lynn through the situation. We're all bummed out, but Epi is okay, and hopefully they can catch the guy who did this, he said. Alright, we have a day off, and then we're going to be in Vancouver to play against the Canucks. Oh, there's a lot of uh, lots of players on waivers. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, so Colin Blackwell with Seattle, Alexander True, Connor Carrick, Jamie Alexiak, Kale Fleury, Carson Susi, Matt Bartowski, Ian Cole, Trevor Carrick, Noel Sherry. And Semi Niku. So a lot of Seattle players are on waivers. Yeah, that's crazy. All 
All right, um, Blackwell available. Kraken put right winger on waivers. Rumor S Calgary moving Nick De Simone. All right. Oh, Bernard Docker got hurt with a fractured jaw for one to two months. That's not good. All right, we're going to be in Vancouver to play the Canucks. Canucks are 19, 15, and 6. We are 1-0 against Vancouver this season. A 3-2 victory at home. Let's beat them on the road as well, please. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sens. Thatcher Demko in net for Vancouver. Go, Sens, go! Oh, yeah, a 6-2 victory over the Canucks in Vancouver. Vancouver outshot us 36 to 31. Tyler Ennis was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Josh Norris was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Brady Kachuk was the third star with a goal and an assist. We scored three goals in the first period. Josh Norris from Drake Batterson and Tim Stutzel. Then Nick Holden from Nick Paul and Tyler Ennis. And then Brady Kachuk scored his 10th of the season from Josh Norris and Tyler Ennis. 3-0 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, Vancouver scored, made it 3-1. Then Connor Brown scored from Thomas Shabbat and Dylan Gambrell. Then Drake Batterson scored on the power play from Tim Stutzel and Brady Kachuk. 5-1 Ottawa after two. Then in the third period, Vancouver scored. And then Tyler Ennis scored on the power play from Mason Shaw and Thomas Shabbat. 6-2 for the Sands. And of course, that was the final score. A nice 6-2 victory on the road. Eric Carlson got his 500 assist in his career with an assist against the Flyers. Eric Carlson is 31 years old and he is a three and a half star defenseman. Anthony Duclair extends his goal streak to seven games with a goal against the Carolina Hurricanes. There was no stopping Mark Scheifele. He had a hat trick against the Kraken. Nikolai Ehlers had a strong game in that same game. He had four assists. William Nylander extends his point streak to 15 games with three assists against the Avalanche. Anthony Beauvillier extends his goal streak to seven games with two goals against the Oilers. And Trevor Carrick was picked up by the Capitals, did not clear waivers. Right, we have a day off and then we're going to be in Edmonton to play against the Oilers. In real life, that game we were losing, I think, 3-1 to heading into the third period. And we scored like four goals in the third and we ended up winning the game. It was pretty cool. Braden Shan injured in St. Louis. He has a fractured hand. He's going to be out for, for four weeks. So that's going to hurt the Blues a little. Blues have a pretty good record. Right, in Edmonton, orders are 15, 21, and 3. We have not played the orders this season. Let's take a look at their team. All right, so Oscar Clefbaum is hurt. He's not going to play. And Zach Iman is also hurt and not going to play. Uh, Jesse Pogliarvi is hurt, not going to play. And Warren Fogel is hurt, may or may not play. So in net, they have Mike Smith and Kuskinen. On D, they have Duncan Keith, Darnell Nurse, Tyson Burry, you know, Josh Brown that we traded to them, Cody Cece. And Evan Bouchard. Hey, FJ, what's up, buddy? Coming to gloat, I'm guessing. Uh, up front, they have Fogel, Dreisaitl, Benson, Nugent Tompkins, uh, Ryan McDavid, Marodi, Kane Sevier, Cashin, Griffith Archibald, and Yamamoto. Oh, you did give up on the Marlins. 
was it too hard or or you lost interest or you are admitting defeat huh well the abs beat the sands yesterday so congratulations to you it wasn't a a great game or anything but it's the win nonetheless Matt Murray is going to be a net for the Sens. Miko Kaskinen is going to be a net for the others. Go Sens! Oh, we lost 5 2. Oh, dear God, we didn't get the goaltending this time. We outshot Edmonton 37 to 19. Connor McDavid was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Leon Dreisaitl was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Evander Kane was the third star with two goals. Oh, God, we took a 2 0 lead in the game to Shane Pinto from Tim Stutzel and Drake Patterson, then Zach Sanford on the power play from Adam Goddard. But then Edmonton tied the game. Uh, with two goals of their own in the first, it was tied at two after one. Then in the second period, Connor McDavid scored twice. It was 4-2 in Minton after two. And then they added one more goal in an empty net in the third period, and we lost 5-2. So what happened? Why did you give up on the Marlins? All right. Another loss. We're dropping in the standings. Oh. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is that you felt like the real GM of the Marlins. Got it. Johnny Godreau signs an extension with the Flames. An eight-year... An eight-year extension that's gonna be around seven million and something wow johnny godro stays with the flames so have you started something new then or are you in between games all right we have two days off and then we're gonna be in calgary to play against the flames Well, that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty much all you can uh, hope for when you're taking over the Marlins. In between games, you don't know what to do. I see. All right, so Steven Lawrence has been put on waivers by the Hurricanes. Anthony Beauvillier extends his goal streak to eight games with a goal against the Flames. Wow. William Nylander extends his point streak to 16 games with a goal against the Vegas Golden Knights. All right, we have one more day off, and then we're going to be in Calgary. <laughs> right? We uh, Our fans even threw hamburgers on the ice for him. Yakov Trenin has been put on waivers by Nashville, and Jes Jesper Kanyemi has been put on waivers by the Hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, I wish for you that it was that easy and that that true. I'm not gonna pick up Kanyemi; his uh, his salary is too high. William Nylander's point streak ended at 16 games. He was held scoreless against the Coyotes. Right, so Cut Kanyemi was waived, as we saw. Right, and we are in Calgary to face off against the Flames. Yeah, he sure is on waivers. 
Oh dear God! I didn't see that originally. Look at the, look at that stat line this year for Cut Kanyemi in my universe. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty impressive. So in my universe, Cut Kanyemi has played twenty six games and he has zero points. <laughs> dear God, that's. That's crazy. With the Hurricanes, even I probably could get at least a point playing 26 games. Alright, so Flames are 27-14-1. We are 0-1 against the Flames this season. We're not playing all that great right now, so a win here would be pretty awesome. Anton Forsberg in net for the Sens. Dan Vladar in net for the Flames. Go Sens! Come on, give me a W. Hey, we lost to nothing. I think that we're gonna see the playoffs like steer away from us slowly. All right, Calgary outshot us 27 to 24 in that one. Johnny Godreau celebrated his new contract extension with a goal and an assist. Brady Kachuk was the second star with no points, and his brother was the third star with an assist. Not a whole lot to talk about. We didn't score, there were no fights. Let's move on. God, is Cut Kanyemi gonna get claimed by somebody? Like Arizona, maybe? No, I don't think he got claimed. <laughs> Danny the Kaiser is on waivers now. Not gonna pick him up. Uh, Kevin Hayes in Philadelphia suspended. He's gonna miss six games. Brock Nelson keeps fans on their feet all night with the Islanders. He had three goals and three assists against the Devils. A 13-3 victory. I mean, there was a 10-7 game in la last night in real life. Actually, I think that was the first time in 10 years that 17 goals were scored in the same game. Great night for Anthony Beauvillier in that same game. He also had three goals and three assists, and that was nine straight games with a point for him. I know, you missed my last stream where there was a score like that too. I think it was like 12-7 or something. <laughs> I don't remember which team it was, so I can't go and look it up. Alright, let's go ahead and advance one more day. And then we're going to be playing in Winnipeg against the Jets. Alright, Aaron Eggblad has a good game for Florida. He had four assists against the Stars. Joe Pavelski is thinking about retiring after this year. He's 37 and he is still a three and a half star player. Steven Lawrence has been put on the trading block by the Hurricanes. All right, in Winnipeg to play against the Jets. The Jets are 19, 20, and 2. We have not played them this season. Let's take a look at uh, what it is that they have. All right, so Brendan Dillon is hurt, not going to play. Brian Little, of course, he's hurt, not going to be playing either. Vili Ainola is hurt, not going to play. And Pierre Dubois is suspended, not going to play. So in net, it's uh, Connor Ellebuck and Mikhail Bardeen. Uh, on the Marcy Ainola, Kovacevic... Logan Stanley, Dylan DeMello, Pionk, and Nate Schmidt. Then up front, it's Paul Stashny, Piri Cup, Connor, Harkins, Veselainen, Shifley, Lowry, Zubo Wheeler, Shikora, uh, Ellers, Perfetti, and Zvechnikov. Alright. It's going to be a tough game. Come on, guys. Matt Murray is going to be. In net for the Suns, Connor Ellebuck in net for the Jets. Go Suns! Another loss! Dear God, we're not doing great. 
All right, so the Jets uh, outshot us 34 to 24. Mark Scheifele was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Zilan Gambrell was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Nikolai Ehlers was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, so Gambrell opened up the scoring in the first from Thomas Shabbat and Artem Zub. It was 1-0 Sens after one. There was a fight between Adam Lowry and Austin Watson. Then in the second period, the Jets scored twice. Then Connor Brown scored his 10th goal of the season from Victor Mete and Zilan Gambrell. We were tied at two after two, but then the Jets scored. And it was a 3-2 victory for them. While they scored early in the third, too, we just couldn't tie the game. All right, we have really slowed down now. I don't think there's going to be playoffs for the Suns unless we go back to winning real soon. We're digging ourselves a hole. All right, Carson Twarinski, Libor Udasek, Justin Danforth, Blake Pietila, and Alex Shison are all on waivers. Strong game for Jeff Petrie in Montreal. He had a hat trick against the Devils. Dang, everybody's banging on the Devils. 8 5 win. Mike Hoffman set everything up tonight. He had four assists in that same game. Good night for Sam Reinhardt in Florida. He had a hat-trick against Columbus. Red light stays on for Gabriel Landeskog in Colorado. He had four goals against Arizona. Strong game for Nathan McKinnon. He had five assists in that same game. Dynamic passing leads to Products of Night for Andrei Burakowski. Uh, same game, still four assists for him. Kings and Yash Anderson uh, part ways, so Yash Anderson's contract was bought out. Alright. Alright, we have a couple of days off, and then we're going to be hosting the Buffalo Sabres. And then we're going to hit the road again. You should start that's what you should do you should start a historical save that starts in 69 with the expos joining in and try to win the world series with the expos before they move and see if you can do better than me although i started a lot later all right sean day uh, devante stevens marcus johansson and colin blackwell are on waivers Great night for Alex Ovechkin. He had four assists against the Canucks. Uh, Pierre Dubois is back from suspension in Winnipeg. Blackwell on waivers, as we saw. And Seattle claimed Justin Danforth of waivers from Columbus. All right, and one more day off, and then we're going to be hosting the Sabres. Oh, you want to do the expansion draft? I thought you would just start with uh, with the team that the Expos had. Which means you start with the Rusty Stub. That's not too shabby. Alright, so Phoenix Copley has been put on waivers by Washington. Bad news for Arizona. Ryan Dezingle is hurt, former Ottawa Senator. As a torn rotator cuff, he's out for four months. Simo Meyer is out for two weeks in San Jose. He has a strained calf muscle out two weeks. Justin Danforth was just picked up off waivers by the Kraken, and now he's uh, he has a torn UCL. He's out for six months. Uh, 
All right, so Buffalo is in town. They are 19, 20, and 4. That's good for 13th in the conference. We're playing them for the first time this season. Right, Buffalo's going to be without uh, Henry Yoki Aryu, Johnny Boychuk, of course, and Alex Tuck is hurt. All right, so they have... Oh, that asshole Arundel. That... Uh, intentionally injured Drake Batterson in a game in real life this year and then uh, Yuko Pekka Lukonen in net uh, Bryson, Butcher, Dallin, Schultz, Miller, Pysik and Fitzgerald on D then up front they have Skinner, Grandstrom, Tatar, Cousins, Dauphin, Jankowski, Todd, Middlestad, Gergensons, Ogpozo in Ostroza, Kegula, Olafsson and Tage Thompson. Arundel in net for Buffalo. Watch out, folks. Matt Murray in net for the Suns. Go Suns. Uh, back to winning. Finally, a 3 2 win in overtime for the Suns. We outshot Buffalo 40 to 37. Eric Brandstrom was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Jankowski was the second star with a goal. And Brady Kachuk was the third star with two assists. 15,491 people in attendance for this game. Artem Zub opened up the scoring in the first from Drake Batterson and Brady Kachuk. It was 1 0 Ottawa after 1. Nobody scored in the second period, then in the third, Buffalo tied the game, then Eric Brandstrom gave us the lead from Brady Kachuk. It was 2-1, but then Buffalo tied game. It was 2-2. This game went to overtime. Nobody scored. Uh, sorry, somebody did score. Zach Sanford was the hero from Eric Brandstrom and Shane Pinto. It was a 3-2 win for the Sun. Oh, Brady Kachuk is day-to-day. -day. That's not good. He has a, a Thai muscle strain. Well, that's not good. Uh, we have a day off, and then we're going to be in Pittsburgh to play against the Penguins. Ketchup cannot play. All right, we're in Pittsburgh to play the Penguins. Penguins are 23, 19, and 1. That's good for 10th in the conference. We are 1 and 1 against Pittsburgh this season. Last game was an 8 3 victory for us. That's going to be the first time we play them on the road. So we do that without the captain today. All right, so Anton Forsberg is going to be in net for us. Casey the Smith in net for Pittsburgh. Of course, go Suns. We lost 4-1. Uh, all right, we were outshot 40 to 34 in that one. Teddy Bluger was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Casey the Smith was the second star with 33 saves. And Chris Letang was the third star with an assist. Oh god, yeah. That game was pretty much decided in the first period. Pittsburgh scored three goals in a row, and Josh Norris scored from Drake Batterson and Tim Stutzel. It was 3-1 Pittsburgh after one. Yeah, Mike Matheson's son scored on me. Actually, uh, in a game this year, yeah, he scored twice in a game against us. <laughs> Uh, all right, a 4-1 loss, not a whole lot to say. Oh, there was a fight between Teddy Bluger and Zach Sanford.
All right, Brad Marsha has a strong game. He had a hat trick against the Capitals. He had a, a hat trick, two slew feet, and he licked one player. That's the Brad Marsha, Brad Marsha hat trick. And Brad Marsha hat trick is three goals in a game, game two slew foots, and the lick, the lick of one player. Shane Wright, Brad Lambert, lead mid-season draft rankings. Yeah, that's that's crazy because he's such a talented player. Like, if you take all of that shit out of what he does, he is a really good player. But man, he's he's a dumbass. All right. All right, so we're going from one generational talent, uh, oh my, to the other. We're going to go to Washington now, playing against the Capitals. Man, I hope that there's going to be people watching me when I do the draft so that we can decide together who I should draft. It's not like historical. Historical, I always knew who the players uh, are going to be that are going to become really good, but it's not the same when you're playing current day. Great night for Anthony Beauvillier. He had four assists against the Arizona Coyotes. Andy Andreoff uh, has been put on the trading block. And there's been a trade between the Blackhawks and the Hurricanes. Ooh, look at that. So Captain Six and I mean Capitals uh, serious Captain Serious, sorry. Jonathan Taves moves. He's been sent to the Hurricanes along with Jake Rysek for Tony D'Angelo, the racist. So Jonathan Taves is now a Carolina Hurricane. Yep. All right, so we are now in Washington to play against the Capitals. Capitals are 27 eight, and 18. Uh, we are 0 and 2 against Washington this season. We lost 4 1 and then 5 1. Let's see if we can beat them this time. You think the Caps are going to win 3-2? That's not nice. Why don't you want for me to win the game? Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Suns. Ilya Samsonov in net for the Capitals. Go Suns! Oh, you were being way too generous. We lost 6-3. Oh, boy. Yeah, this month is has been killing us. This month uh, made it so that we're not going to be in the playoffs. We had a shot, but... All right, so we were outshot 41 to 36. That, I guess that's true. I needed a good draft pick. Uh, John Carlson was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Trevor Carrick was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Protoss was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, so Cal Foot opened up the scoring in the first. That was his fifth of the season from Austin Watson and Victor Mete. It was 1-0 Ottawa, but then Washington tied game. It was 1-1 after 1. And in the second period, we scored twice. Sim Stutzel from Austin Watson and Artem Zub. And then Chris Tierney from Zach Sanford and Tyler Ennis. 3-1 Ottawa after two. We looked pretty good, but we allowed five unanswered goals in the third period. And once again, we were not able to hold on to our lead for the second time this month. Oh, we're going to try to shake that one off real quick because now we're going to be in Columbus right away. Dave Laurie might be fired. So Dave Laurie is the coach of the Jets. 
and the Jets are 21, 23, and 2. Matt Barzal is out with the Islanders uh, with a torn groin muscle. He's going to miss nine weeks. That's going to hurt the Islanders. They have a good record. Memorable game for Braden Point in Tampa Bay. He had a hat trick, three goals against the Sharks. Brady Kachuk should be back soon. That'd be great. All right. In Columbus, the Blue Jackets are 19 24 and. And we have not played them this season. Alright, so let's see what Columbus has. So Ben Gleason is not going to be playing this game. Neither is Dean Kukan. Alright, so... Reslin Kins in net, Corpi Salo in net as well. On D, they have Beruther, Gavrika, Wierenski, Bean, Christensen, Boquist, and Peak. Up front, they have Nyquist, Nolan, Domi, Liney, Robinson, Lynn, Gettinger, Gans, uh, Jenner, Kerali, Roslovich, Sillinger, Voracek, and Bjorkstrand. Anton Forsberg is a net for the Suns. Elvis Merzlitkins is a net for Columbus. FJ predicts a 4-2 Jackets victory. Go Suns, go! Oh, we lost 5-3. That are oh dear God, we were outshot 50 to 31. This is the Columbus Blue Jacket, not the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Sean Corrali was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Mason Shaw was the second star with two assists. And Max Domi was the third star with two goals and an assist. All right, nobody scored in the first. Then in the second period, uh, Columbus took a 2-0 lead. Then Zach Sanford scored on the power play from Eric Brandstrom and Mason Shaw. Then Tim Stutzel from Tyler Ennis and Chris Tierney. We were tied at 2 after 2. Then in the third period, Thomas Shabbat scored on the power play from Tyler Ennis and Mason Shaw, and yet again, we couldn't hold on to a lead. We allowed three goals after that, and we ended up losing 5-3. We do not have the confidence to close out games. was a trade between Seattle and Calgary. Yegor Chizganov go to the Flames for Luke Philp going to the Kraken. And we have a trade proposal from the Ducks. The Ducks are trying to trade us Hunter Drew for Chris Tierney. I think I'm going to do this. Okay, he's more of a defensive type of defenseman. Oh, he has to clear waivers, though. I'm gonna say no then. I would have made that trade if I could have sent him down, but he has to clear waivers. All right, and Yevgeny Svechnikov has been put on waivers by the Jets. All right, we're about to play Buffalo again. Kevin A's suspension in Philadelphia has ended, and Brady Kachuk has completely recovered. Thank God. All right, Buffalo back in town. Uh, they are now 19, 22, and 5. That's good for 14th in the conference. We are 1 0 against the Sabres. We just beat them at home not too long ago. 
Alright, so this time Buffalo's gonna go with Yuko Pekka Lukonen in net. We're gonna go with Matt Murray and of course, go Sens! And we lost 4-1. We are unable to win anymore. When I started the stream, we were five games above 500. We are now a game under 500. We outshot Buffalo 35 to 29. Mark Pisic was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Lukanen was the second star with 34 saves, and Rash Rasmus Dallin was the third star with two goals. 14,200 people in attendance for the game. Buffalo opened up the scoring in the first. It was one nothing Buffalo after one. Then they scored again in the second, made it two nothing. Then Zidane Gambrell scored from Brady Kachuk and Connor Brown, two one Buffalo at that point. Then they scored again, made it three one, and they scored again in the third period. And it was a four one loss against Buffalo. Things are not going great, folks. Things are not going great. Good game for Yevgeny Dadonov in <clears throat> uh, Vegas. He had four assists against the Hurricanes. Ridley Gregg converts to center. All right. Brady Kachuk is completely recovered. That's good. And Cole Lynn said that there's no lead in his home robbery. So left wing uh, Colin's own was rubber recently and he said thus far local local police don't have any suspects or leads they said they are investigating but nothing to report right now Lynn said I can't believe the guy is probably going to get away with it Lynn said the support of his teammates have, had been fantastic and they all simply want to move on and focus on Aki all right we're gonna advance one more day Joe Snively has been put on waivers by the Jets, and CJ Smith has been put on waivers by the Hurricanes. Blackhawks, Patrick Kane got suspended, he's gonna miss one game, and Snively was on the Jets because he was part of a trade. Joe Snively was sent to the Jets for Logan Stanley, and then they're putting Snively on waivers. Those are the kind of moves that I really don't get. Why trade for a player that you're putting on waivers right after? It's not a salary dump. I mean, Logan Stanley's not making that much money. I don't get it. All right. And now Carolina is in town. Uh, 23, 16, and 7 is the Hurricanes. L uh, record they are 10th in the east we are 2-0 against the hurricanes we have won both games hopefully we can kind of shake off what's going on on that team right now Antsy Ranta is going to be in net for the canes Anton Forsberg in net for the Sens go Sens oh a 4 nothing victory over the hurricanes Right, we outshot the Hurricanes 38 to 28. Anton Forsberg was the first star of the game. He made 28 saves and got the shutout. Thomas Shabbat was the second star with two assists, and Austin Watson was the third star with two assists as well. 15,966 people in attendance for the game. Adam Goddard opened up the scoring in the first from Austin Watson. It was 1 0 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, Sim Stutzel scored from Connor Brown and Zidane Gambrell. 2 0 Ottawa after two. And then in the third period, Artem Zub scored his fifth from Brady Kachuk and Thomas Shabbat. And then Zach Sanford scored his tenth from Austin Watson and Thomas Shabbat. 4 nothing for the Sens. The victory. Oh god, who got hurt now? God, that is hurt. Bruised chest. Big game for Alex Pietrangelo. He had three goals and an assist against the Panthers. Pretty good indeed. 
Anders Lee with the Islanders uh, has bone edema in his wrist and he's going to miss eight weeks. That's a good Islanders player. That's hurt. Dave Tippett might lose his job in Edmonton. Uh, orders are 20, 25, and 3. And a trade proposal from the Stars. They want to trade me Nicolas Camano for Mikel Delzado. What kind of player are you? Ooh, okay. I am going to make that trade, I think. Now, I don't expect for Camano to become really good, but I get Michael Delzado's contract off the books. I have no intention on u in using him. There you go. Alright. Perfect. Now, do I have... Yeah, I'm going to need to send this guy... Shane Pinto. I guess I can send Pinto down. He doesn't play every game. Alright, and we have this guy on the roster now. He's not that great. But he's capable. Alright. I got rid of Michael Delzado's contract, so maybe I am embracing the tank. I'm trading players away that I do not want on the team anymore. Alright, um, Jordan Nolan is on waivers. Suspension over for Patrick Kane in Chicago. Alright, Nolan is on waivers as we saw, and apparently Brent Burns has been put on the trade block. I'm not gonna go for Brent Burns, he's 36 years old, but the team might go for him. It just won't be the Ottawa Senators. All right, Anaheim is in town. Anaheim is 24, 24, and 2. We are 1 0 against Anaheim this season. We won 2 1 in Anaheim. A game that I uh, that I attended in real life, and it wasn't a 2 1 win for the Suns. It was a 4 0 loss. All right, let's play this game here. John Gibson is going to be in net for Anaheim. We're going to go with Anton Forsberg. He did get that shut up in the last game go sends a 4-3 victory two wins in a row look at us we outshot and i'm 41 to 25 dylan gambrell was the first star of the game he had a goal uh, troy terry was the second star with two assists and cal foot was the third star with a goal 16,470 people in attendance for the game Oh wow, all the scoring was in the third period. Nobody scored in the first. Oh no, sorry, somebody scored in the second. Uh, Tim Stutzel scored on the power play unassisted in the second period, so it was 1 0 Ottawa after two. Then in the third period, Cal Foot made it 2 0 from Drake Batterson and Eric Brandstrom. Then Anaheim scored, then Zidan Gambrell scored unassisted, made it 3-1. Then Artem Zub made it 4-1 from Tyler Ennis and Thomas Shabbat. And then Anaheim scored twice, but we held on this time, and we won 
Ooh, Travis, uh, Trevor, sorry, Trevor Zegras got uh, hurt in the game against us. He has a torn hip labrum and he's out for four months. No Michigan goals are going to be scored by Zegras for the rest of the season at least. Logan Couture has produced 600 points in his career. He had an assist against the Panthers. Logan Couture is 32 years old and he's a three-star player. And Kevin Chevaldeoff might be fired in Winnipeg, so they're not only talking about uh, canning the coach, they're talking about canning the GM as well. Jets are 21, 27, and 2. All right, we have a day off, and then we're going to be playing Edmonton on the last day of the month. Oh god, we have more injuries. Eric Brandstrom, Artem Zoo, what the What the whatever. Alright, Alexi Lafreniere lights the lamp with the Rangers. He had a hat trick against the Kraken. Todd McClellan might lose his job as the coach of the Kings. Kings are 23, 23, and 3. Ooh, Rod Brennamore might lose his job as the coach of the Hurricanes. Hurricanes are 24, 18, and 7. Right, and that's the, the scouting by my cat scout. Right, do I need to do something with all those injuries there? I sure do. Ugh. What to do? We have two games in two nights. I guess I will. It's the Olympics, so there's going to be like that huge gap where there's no games. So I guess I'm going to put Brandstrom on the injured list. And I'm going to recall Lassie Thompson, probably. Oh, yeah, he's having a good year in Belleville. All right, so the orders are in town. Uh, orders are 20, 26, and 3. We are 0 and 1 against the orders this season. Uh, they beat us 5 2 in Edmonton. So let's go ahead and get the win here to end the month. That'd be great. Miko Kuskinen is going to be in net for the orders. Anton Forsberg in net for us. Go Sens. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We lost 5 nothing to end the month. Edmonton outshot us 30-26. Miko Kuskinen was the first star of the game with 26 saves and the shutout win. Connor McDavid was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Ryan Nugent Tompkins was the third star with two goals. 15,072 people in attendance for this game. Oilers scored twice in the first period. They were up 2 nothing after one. Then they scored again in the second period, made it 3-0. Th then they scored again in the third period, made it 5-0. No fights, nothing. Oh, looks like we got more injuries. Or maybe, oh no, Gambrel got hurt. <clears throat> Bad news for Red Wings, Dylan Larkin got hurt. He's gonna miss two weeks with the hamstring strain. The players that sold the most jerseys uh, for the Sens in January. Did you say Tim Stutzel? Did you say Brady Kachuk? Did you say Drake Batterson? No, no, and no. Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, Anton Forsberg, Tyler Ennis, and Connor Brown. All right, development report. I'd like to look at that. 
Oh, Yarvin's is getting stronger and a better passer. That's good. Can't believe that Sanderson is only a three star potential. <laughs> oh, Kamano got plus one in aggression. Look at that. Oops, Nicole done. Uh, Lost some offensive read and shot blocking. Alright. The top selling jerseys in the month of January in the NHL. Johnny Godro sold the most. No sense player there, of course. Connor McNavid. McDavid was the player of the month in the NHL. And Anton Kudobin, the goaltender of the month. All right, so our injury list is long, um, and we are 12 in the East now. We were eight when I started this stream. We are seven points back on the Bruins, who hold the eight spots. So yeah, that's gonna be tough. We're also one of the teams that have played the most games in the East. Montreal played more than us. Actually, they played more than anybody else, and they're dead last. All right. Um, yeah, it was a really bad month for us. That did us, did us in. You cannot afford to have a bad month like that in the NHL. All right. So if we look here... So the worst team in the league is Montreal, and then the Wild is the second worst. Wow. Let's take a look at our stats. So our best player is Drake Batterson. He has 37 points in 49 games. Then Brady Kachuk, 29 and 48. Stuzo, 28 and 50. Ennis, 26 and 47. Shabbat, 26 and 43. And then it goes down from there. So we're not a very offensive team. We don't score many goals. Now in the entire league, the best goal scorer is Panarin with 36 goals. Matthews is second with 33, and then Braden Point has 32. He is third. Shea Theodore is the best passer. He has 46 assists. Best player in the entire league is Kucherov with 69 points. Ovechkin is second with 68. Then Panarin, Nylander, and Connor McDavid. Yeah, I don't see us anywhere. Nope, we're not a leader in anything. Neither will our goaltenders, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Well, that's that, I guess. All right, we're going to go ahead and save... Now, I am aware that there's only two games in February, so I'm going to play the, those and the month of March next time out. Uh, prior to the stream, I'm going to go ahead and decide on which player I am giving an extension to and whom I am going to let walk and put on the trading block. Uh, I will be selling assets before the end of the season. We're going to try to get some players and picks back and aim to be better next year because I don't think we're going to be able to uh, move into the playoffs. We we really had a bad month and that did us in. So. Anyway, 
All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and stop here for today. So as usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube a little bit later and that you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.